Yum, yum! Hello, Bukas Pazara here. In this video, I would like to talk about the proxy mode that is available in ACS2 already, but will also be there in ACS3 um, with some nice enhancements. So this mode is used for animation, and in this mode, instead of uh, using uh, deforming meshes, uh, we use a set of rigid mesh pieces that are attached to the rig skeleton um, joints. The main benefit of this mode is that uh, you get much better performance because there's no deformation happening, um, but you still maintain quite a good look um, over your character's uh, poses and, and silhouettes. So here is an example of such scene that is already um, prepared, has the, uh, the proxy mode prepared. And as you can see, these are all um, separate segments and the cuts uh, between these meshes are quite visible, but at the same time, uh, it, um, the overall look of the pose is, is quite clear. And if you want to compare it with the defo deformant, uh, deformant look, uh, here it is. So this is the deformed mesh. This is how the animation looks with the deformed mesh, and this is uh, the proxy mode. So as you can see, difference is not is not that big. Now in ACS two, you had to prepare all uh, these proxies yourself. So cut the uh, cut the deforming mesh into pieces, and then attach the pieces to relevant um, bind skeleton joints. ACS three can set up the proxy mode uh, for you. So uh, let's take a look. The only requirement uh, for the automatic bind proxy setup uh, is that your uh, mesh, or all, all the bind meshes that you have in your rig, they need to be weighted. So they need, they need to have weights painted. And also the quality of the proxies that you will get uh, depends on the quality of your weights. So the better weights you have, the smoother, nicer weights you have, the nicer uh, proxy pieces you will receive. So now I'm going to run the bind proxies auto setup command and um, I need to put up the proxy resolution name. Um, so I'm not, going, I'm not going to talk about the resolutions just yet. Just yet. Um, these are still in flux. So for now, let's just put the proxy name here. And um, then we have two options for the proxies. One is to subdivide them and the other one is to make them double-sided. So I found out that um, with lower resolution meshes, if you subdivide the proxies, the cuts on, um, between the meshes, they actually, they look better. And there's really no performance um, penalty in such case because there's no deformation happening. So uh, if you have a lower resolution mesh, you can enable this option to to get a bit nicer uh, cuts between meshes. So here I'm going to, to leave the subdivide proxies on. And I will also leave the, sub, uh, the double-sided proxies on. Uh, and the double-sided option makes, uh, um, creates the inner side of the proxies as well. So they are, um, they are visible from, from both sides. Um, in my opinion, that, that works better. I like to have my proxies double-sided, but obviously that's, uh, that's up to, um, to anyone's uh, preference. So having those two options on and having this proxy names uh, uh, set, I'm just going to start the, the process of generating the proxies. And it may take a while. It, it really depends on the complexity of your um, deforming meshes. And also depends on whether you choose this sub to subdivide them or not because subdividing do does take a while. Uh, okay, so I'm going to pause recording there here and we'll come back uh, when the setup is done. Okay, the setup is complete. Let's take a look how it uh, looks in the animation. I will just hide my locators. I don't want them to obscure the view. And here it goes. So here's my proxy mode all complete. And just for comparison, if I I can switch to the uh, deforming mesh here and go back to proxy. So if you choose the, the double-sided option, uh, the material that is on in the inner side of, of all the proxies is just that black, so constant black. Um, that works for me, uh, but you can uh, using the shader tree you can choose you can change it to any other material to your liking. 
Now, the very cool part about the proxy mode um, is that ACS3 also uh, sets up common regions for each uh, proxy segment. And it does it in such a way that uh, these command regions redirect um, selections to the uh, rig controllers underneath. So, in essence, using this proxy mode, you can also animate and pose your rig without ha having any of the controllers visible. So there's really nice, nice and clean way of uh, posing uh, your characters. And that's pretty much it. That's the automatic bind proxy setup in ACS3. Thank you for watching. Yum, yum!